Hey, what's up, Fighter Fightman 1995 here, and welcome to another cheerless video where we're going to be talking about a certain topic. So, for today's topic, we're going to be taking a glance at every single Mario Party 2 minigame from the Nintendo 64, and we'll judge them based on which minigame are the best to the worst. Now, first of all, understand that these are all based on my opinion to which minigame I enjoy the most, to which I enjoy the least. And if you see a minigame that you like or don't like, and I place them in a different position, higher or lower, uh, please show some love and respect as either all my personal opinion, as I said. But before we get into further detail, if y'all could do me a huge favor and push that like button on this video, I would really appreciate it. So... First of all, I want to say I love you guys, and I hope you guys are all staying at home and staying safe from this COVID-19 that's going around when we're in the sticky circumstances at our darkest time. And I just hope you guys are all safe where you guys are at, whether you're in the U.S. of A., uh, Mexico, Canada, or wherever country you're in. With the sticky circumstances of the virus. And this virus, it's no joke. It's very serious. And I hope we can get through together through our darkest time of 2020. And that won't stop us from lighting up the spirit with bringing up the topic of Mari Party. Now, I know what you're thinking. Fight Man. Trey. This is a Mario Party game. This is a game where you destroy friendship and cause chaos with your friend. Okay, yes, I do understand that. But the truth is, I love Mario Party. Party, And I loved it all my life. Ever since being a little kid. Fr from the old days to the modern days. And to be honest, I like the N64 Mario Party than the GameCube Mario Party. So therefore, I came with this idea of doing a minigame tier list for my favorite Mario Party minigame of all time, Mario Party 2. And there are a total of 65 minigames, believe it or not. And speaking of minigame, I pretty much took the time to rearrange all these minigames and put them into different categories. Uh, catalogs, rather, a and y you'll see that these are organized. Because, as you can see, first off, we have the four-player minigame coming up first. After that will be the 1v3, uh, 2v2 over here, uh, battle game, item, duel, which you can get from a certain board, and then we have the little extra minigame save for last, but I will explain what that is later. Okay, next, we are going to be talking about every ranking for the tier list. And this time we have six different rankings. Most of which are good, two which are not too good. But let's start with the best one. First up is the S rank for Fantastic. These are the mini games that I really love to play. And would just play them over and over and over again. Because of how much I really love these mini games. A for Awesome which I do love, but don't, uh, but not too crazy over it. It, it would play like a certain amount of time and not get stuck in a loop, pretty much. Uh, B again, B is great, which are games that I don't really love, but I really take the time to appreciate it and really like the game. In other words, now the C rank. I have ha actually had to put a lot of thought into the C rank. So, know how you see, see the good slash decent? Originally, I was going to put in C for good only. Which are games that, are, that I like. That, but... 
mostly I'm just saying that these games I really don't mind playing again. I thought about it a little bit and it was a little difficult for me to do that. So I added the word decent, which basically means I don't really care for this game uh, all that much. But I still wouldn't mind regardless of the outcome. Anyway, on to the bad side, which we have D, obviously stand for bad, which are games that I don't really like playing that much. But I don't think they're really bad, and I don't hate them, which you probably won't be seeing as much. You might see few games that I will put in that ranking. And then we have, last but not least, the F rank, which is trash. And notice that these are all filled with periods. But what does trash mean, though, Trey? Well, here's the five words for you. T is for terrible. R is for ridiculous. A for atrocious. S for stupid. And H for horrendous. Those are the five words that clearly resemble trash. Thank you once again for having me explain those to you. So, but with that being said, let us begin. Let's go! Anyway, first up is Bombs Away. And this is a game that reappeared from Mario Party 1. And by the way, prepare to hear a lot of Mario Party 1 mention because majority of these games came back from the previous Mario Party game before 2. And obviously, I'm going to put Bombs Away at the S rank because... I feel like they made a major improvement over Mario Party 1 with the Bowser Bill and the Bullet Bill, and I really love the touch they gave to that. I would play it over and over again. Uh, next minute game is Bumper Ball, another game that appeared for Mario Party 1, and that's gonna go to the S rank as well, because who doesn't love a game of Bumper Balls anyway? Especially with a variety of courses like the Ice, the Standard, and the Hill Course. I mean, me, myself, enjoy it. <laughs> uh, next is Roll Call, and this game was pretty decent. I mean, being like a mathematic myself and loving math, I would have put this a little h higher on B, but I'm just going to put it as good uh, slash decent, because it is pretty simplified and easy, but Toad is the hardest one. Wait, I can appreciate more. The bomb and booze are easy. Uh, next minute game is Hot Road Jump, and this is once again another returning game of Mario Party 1. Obviously, S rank, because. Yeah. Hot Road Jump Master. And I really love the challenge they give you for the mini game coaster. A and I feel like Hot Road Jump made a big improvement over Mario Party 1. Whereas Party Party 1, it, you have to just make 20 jumps without getting burned. If you get burned, you lose coin because Mario Party 1, believe it or not, was savage. It was mean. Really. <laughs> but anyway, next is Total Full Pound, which we just got a ground pound. A uh, simplified game, I'd say it's decent. And I feel like they could have done a little more. But other than that, it's simple and easy. Uh, next is Abandoned Ship. Uh, escape and climb to the top. And dot the cheap jeep. Uh, I'm gonna put this at decent. I don't mind playing the game. In fact, that was a mini game I used to suck as a kid. Honestly. Um. Next is Deep Sea Salvage. And... Another decent, uh, mini game. Now... I'm probably going to put a lot of coin minigames on the C rank and maybe lower if necessary because it's just a little extra bonus as you might as well guessed. But anyway, uh, next is Dizzy Dancing and this is going to be the first to get the B rank which is great because I love the idea where you have to guess which direction is the right direction and I really love how they did that for this game. Uh, 
But yeah, anyway, next up is Hexagon Heat, aka Mushroom Mixer from Mario Party 1. And you know what? That's my favorite minigame of all time, Hexagon Heat. And if you watch my Mario Party 2 Let's Play, you would know why. It, it really lives up to its name. It's the greatest. One of them. Another game I enjoy is Lava Tile Isle, which is also going to go to the S rank, of course. Because if you guys know me, I love fighting games. And, and this and Lava Tile Isle perfectly resembles that. Remember, kid, about the username. Because if I hadn't had Fightman in 1995, I wouldn't have came up with the username in the first place. Funny enough, uh, next up is, uh, Mecha Marathon. And this was actually a minigame I don't enjoy, because I, myself, do not like button mashing. I mean, I guess some people may like the button mashing thing, but I don't, because my arm wears out so fast. Like, it's not even funny. Anyway, uh, next up is Shy Guy Thad. Another returning minigame from Mario Party 1! Except we're in the sky! S rank again! Cause who doesn't love a game of Simon Says, really? Uh, next one is Tile Driver. Um, I enjoyed that minigame pretty well. Um, that's gonna get the B rank. Since you gotta match the Koopa Boo and Goomba. What, whatever the picture matches. And yeah, uh, next game is Toe in the Bike. And surprise, surprise, that's gonna get the A rank for awesome, because I, I really love the intensity of that game, and it gets challenging each time you you go up a level. Once you get to 1, 2, 3, and 4, which is very chaotic, by the way, and it's actually possible to get a perfect on that game. And, and Words can't describe how much I love Toad in the Box. Even though I do hate to hate Toad as a character, it, it's still a great game. Really. Uh, next up is Platform Peril. Y y once again, another returning minigame from Mario Party 1. Obviously going to the S rank. Because who doesn't love a good old platforming game like Super Mario Bros. For an example of that. Uh, Shell Shock is another game that I really enjoy that didn't come back from Mario that didn't come from Mario Party 1 but as a tank battle because who doesn't love a good old tank battle? I know I do. Like Hexic on Heat another one of the great greatest iconic game. Uh, ne anyway next one is I believe Skateboard Scamper? If I said that correct, this was a mini game from Mario Party uh, One. Uh, uh, that's gonna get decent rank because I actually didn't mind playing the game. And honestly, I get that there's some people that say that this game is bad, but me, I don't mind it personally because all you gotta do is find the trick. That's basically it. Uh, so anyway, uh, next up is Slot Car Derby, and we have a lot of track on Slot Car Derby, and it once again reappears from Mario Party 1. Uh, that was a great minigame, actually, because it, based on your speed maintaining, well, maintaining speed, I said that word backward, my bad. And I feel like that game is pretty iconic. And also, I forgot to say for Shellshock, what I was more interested about Shellshock was uh, the fact that you get to fight three uh, baby Bowsers all at once once you're getting close to completing the mini game coaster on the hardest difficulty. Forgot to mention that. But but anyway, um, Sneak and Snore is a game I did not really enjoy enjoy because of the mechanic of the the hiding from the chain chomp whenever he wakes up and I feel like the mechanic on that one was bad 
which is why I'm putting it in D-Wake along with the Mega Marathon. I don't hate the minigame, though. Uh, Kit P. Turney! Uh, that's a minigame I enjoy pretty much. Sure, it's boring, and you just gotta move the shell and, and try, try to maneuver it. That's also a minigame from Mario Party 1. Uh, and then last but not least is Honeycomb Havoc. And this game was pretty decent in my opinion. It's all about outsmarting opponent in that game. And I actually like the idea of it. Just, just manipulate the idea, really. And uh, with that, that does it for the four player mini game. Next up is 1v3. Uh, First one is Archer Rival. Uh, this was a mini game that I was a game I really like, actually. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna place it right there because honestly, I would have put it in the A rank, but I'm gonna put it at a little lower rank because I feel like this is basically a, an advantage for the bow player, but it it can really go either way. Depending on how your partner plays in that, it, it either benefits the solo player or the three player, and I feel like this is balanced here. Uh, next game is Babam Barrage, and honestly, I love this mini game. I mean, sure, it does have the wonky mechanic and that, but basically, if you're the three player, you just gotta sh shoot your Babam like a slingshot, like pretend that you're using one. I learned that trick after very much practice, so I guess people would prefer being on the tub, uh, the floating platform, whatever, but yeah. Uh, next up is Filet Relay, and this was another mini game I enjoyed, actually. Whether it be the solo player or, or passing the fish as the dream player, it's that was another fun game. Um, next up is Quicksand Cat, and this is honestly the first coin mini game that I'm gonna put it on bad because I feel like Quicksand Cat weighs too much in the favor of the person controlling the sand, which is obviously the one in the Bowser suit. And which you just gotta hope for the best of luck trying to get coins in a coin bag, and I really don't like the mechanic. But, yeah. Move to the music is the next game, and honestly, I have two left feet, so that's gonna put... That's gonna go to the D rank. I don't like dancing. Uh, next one is Rainbow Run, also known as Tightrope Treasury, from Mario Party 1. And honestly, that was a game I really enjoy. I mean, sure, it's hard to knock down the solo player, but it's still a fun game, rather. And I can just take the time to appreciate it. Uh, Lights Out. Uh, fun minigame. So it is way towards the favor of the person with the hammer. But, but really, you just gotta be good at dodging a hammer. Unless you're being a hammer player. Then... Yeah. Uh, next up is Shot, Drop, and Roll. And honestly, that game was... Uh, decent because... Honestly, I feel like... The jump button as the three player is broken. And it pretty much leads to an un unfair advantage. That I'm gonna say much. Uh, next one is Crane Game, and honestly, I don't enjoy that mini game because I feel like, well, although that the solo player do have a fair ch chance than they do on Mario Party One, I, I feel like they gave the solo player way too much because here you have timers and you have three players to capture too. And I feel like it's very easy as, as a solo player, unless you're very good at button mashing for any chance, which I am not. As I did state in Make a Marathon. But, yeah. Uh, next up is Bowl Over, and this is 
honestly a mini game I really enjoy. Especially having to jump jump over the the bowling ball, which is obviously the green shell. Which believe it or not is actually possible to do. I, I love being the bowler and I also love being the bowling pin. And, and I really like the idea how um the bowling player has more of a chance. Whether than just bowling one shell and then trying to take each other coin from Mario Party 1, because Mario Party 1, once again, was savage and mean. And then last but not least is, uh, look away. Um, uh, I thought that mini game was decent, but really I feel like that game was weighted too much toward the, uh, the three player, because it's easy to trick the, the move master, uh, which is obviously the solo player on that one. But yeah. That does it for 1v3. Next up is uh Bob Sled Run. Um And this is a 2v2 that uh, returned from Mario Party 1. And obviously, who doesn't love a Bob Sled race like at the Winter Olympic? A and with having to do teamwork as well. I know I do. <laughs> uh, next is Cake Factory, and this one is decent. Honestly. Like, it's not a really a minigame I would play over and over again. Uh, next is Destruction Duet. Obviously s rank because fighting, fighting game where you're having to destroy the fat, fat statue, which is small or large. I cannot speak today. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, the wood cutting game, Looney Lumberjack, going to the A rank, obviously, cause, cause it was fun. Have to alternate between A and B together, because honestly, I'd rather alternate than to, uh, do the button mashing. I'll take that any day. Uh, next up is Balloon Birth. Uh, this was a game that was originally a four player in Mario Party 1. But honestly, I still like this mini game. Though they did take it out of a 4 play and made it a 2v2. But it didn't stop it from being a great game, honestly. Uh, another returning mini game from uh, Mario Party 1 is well, it's Dungeon Dash from Mario Party 2, but and Mario Party 1 was Desert Dash. Uh, that was... That was an awesome minigame. And, and I loved how they threw in more obstacles to, to dodge. Because... In 1, you only had to dodge the Twomp. This one, you have to dodge the Fire and the Twomp. And I really loved the improvement they made in that game. Uh, next up is Hand Car Havoc. And this is a minigame that I feel is decent. And this was, once again, another minigame from Mario Party 1. But the, but the only sad part is that they don't have you going with too many sharp turns as they did in 1. Which made it much less challenging, and I was slightly at a disappointment of that. Uh, next is Magnet Carta, uh, C rank. Cause a coin minigame. But I don't really like the car mechanic. Uh, Sky Pilot. Uh, uh, another decent one. Toad Bandstand. Uh, uh, originally a four-player four, four player mini game, And I believe it was called Mario Bandstand, if I'm correct, for Mario Party 1. But this one's Toad Bandstand, and it's 2v2. And honestly, I feel like this 2v2 uh, Toad Bandstand was better than... Mario Bandstand, rather, because I feel like there was too much RNG to Mario Party 1. And even at your best performance, you can still lose. And I... That's what I didn't like about Mario Party 1. So, I'm giving points to Mario Party 2 for making the improvement of that. Uh, next is Torpedo Target. Uh, bad minigame, because it really depends on who you have, really. 
where you have a good shooter or someone that's good at maneuvering. And it's honestly confusing. Uh, next is speed hockey, and and what you know, this is an awesome game. And you know what? I love hockey. It, whether I'm being the goalie or the front line, Fordman, rather, and how the speed like picks up the more you hit the shell, which is obviously your hockey puck. And I could could play the, that mini game over and over again, like I do the bobsled run of Destruction Duet, because of how much I enjoy it. Even Looney Lumberjack and Dungeon Dash. Sorry for the sudden pause right there. But anyway, uh, two, two mini games down. Now we get to the battle mini game. First up is Bumper Balloon Car. Uh, that was a great mini game. In fact, that mini game was hilarious. With with your with Spike being at the front front of your vehicle and the balloon being in the back. That was a very clever idea. And next up is called Day of the Races. Don't, let's not even talk about that mini game. Okay? I want no words for Day of the Races. I don't care what anybody said. Day of the Races was trash and I hate it. If you watched my last play, you would have, you would know why. Uh, grab bag is next. Uh, honestly, that was a game that was bad. A and as some of you may know, for those who played Mario Party 1, this was a game that was originally a four-player, where you're you're gaining or losing coins, but for this one, you're losing mushrooms. And the mechanics were still bad, honestly. I mean, the hitboxes were very wonky, and I did not like that at all of Grab Bag for Mario Party 1 or 2. Um, Faithlift, Faith four-player minigame in Mario Party 1 where we have to mess with Bowser's face, except this time Mario Party 2 is a battle minigame and we're messing with our character's face. Obvious S rank because it leads to a lot of hilarity than that. I'm gonna be honest with you. In fact, it's very an iconic mini game in my opinion. Uh, Bowser Big Blast. Uh, ba later called Baker Blast and Four. That's obviously gonna, gonna be the A rank, even though this is a luck based mini game as Day of the Races is. But the intensity is more intense. And that's what I really love about that game. Uh, next is Hop a Bomb. Originally from a four-player minigame of Mario Party 1 for whoever gets blown up loses their coin. This one goes up to last man standing. Outstanding game, and I... It's probably one of the best uh, battle minigames aside from Facelift. And one other minigame, which we're getting close to momentarily. Uh, next up is Raking them in. Uh... I think... I'm gonna put this at decent because the mechanic is a little wonky, but it doesn't stop it from being great. And the last mini game, Crazy Cutter. Once again, another returning mini game from Mario Party One. Obviously, that's going to the S rank because this is yet again another one of those iconic mi mini games, and easily recognizable by the name. I just love the game, just period. <laughs> and and we don't have that much left because we only have the item, jewel, and then the extra mini game that you can get later on. Uh, so anyway, let's get to the item mini game. Uh, this is the item mini game for Spaceland. Mechanic for bad. Uh, Bowser slot machine also from Bowserland. Originally a single-player game for, for Mario Party 1, but it still was bad because Slap Machine and Mario Party 1, you were collecting coins. This one, you're collecting an item and matching three pairs, of course. Um, anyways, uh, 
item minigame for Horland. Gonna get the Thee rank. Uh, they're not, they're not gonna be high. I'm just gonna say that much. Uh, item minigame for Western Land. D. Um, Mystery Land is gonna be C. And Break the Barrel is gonna be C. Which is Pirate Land. So anyway, uh, seven more left. And then we have the Western Duel minigame. Where we can shoot strike first before the opponent does. H how fast are your reflexes? Awesome minigame. I will say that much. I mean, I love any Western... Western style game. They're fun. Um, and now we have the Duel minigame for Horror Land. Uh, also another minigame I enjoy. That game was awesome. Uh, Mystery Land Duel on the other hand was not. Though it is al alternately A, B together for, I believe it was five seconds. But, yeah. Uh, Rock, Paper, Mario, B Bowser Land. Uh, that was a minigame I enjoy. So it is, again, a luck based uh, mini game where we have Mario, Peach, and Bowser, and we have like the, the triangle where Mario beats Bowser, Bowser beats Peach, and Peach beats Mario. That game was interesting, but uh, and then we have the dual mini game for Pirate Land, which is my favorite dual game out of all the all the six because of having to press the button the fast you can without screwing up. up. Up to five buttons. And then we have Time Bomb, which is the Space Land Duel in a game. And that game was uh, decent. I'm gonna say that was decent for the most part. And that does for the Duel Mini Game. And then we have Woody's Special Mini Game Driver's Ed. Drive in a certain direction and pop the balloon in chronological order. That was a bad minigame. I, I did not really enjoy that game all that much. Because of the car mechanic being bad. So that's it. That is every single... ...minigame... ...listed. There we go. For this video. We have determined what, what games are going to be the S rank, A, B, C, D, and F. Which, honestly, that was challenging. I will say that much. But anyway, guys, so I guess on that note, that will do for this episode of us doing a cheer list video. So once again, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching it. And if you liked it, don't forget to punch that like button. And I'll see you guys with another cheer list video in the future. And who knows what that will be. So, once again, I am Fightman1995. See you all, have a good day. Game on, my friend, and take care. Goodbye.